No. No, no. Even the ducks join in now. Stay tuned for that. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back. We are four days away from Christmas. Can y'all believe it? I cannot believe it. So the plan for today, we're going to Walmart later this afternoon to get the last few things we need for Christmas things. I'm gonna go get groceries tomorrow. I thought about doing that today, but I really wanna do that early in the morning because I know right now it's gonna be busy everywhere. Today, I just need to get a few things like gift bags, maybe some more tape for wrapping things, a couple more things for Christmas Eve, and maybe a couple more things from Walmart that Aldi or Ingalls won't have. So we're gonna go get that today. We're also going to Ingalls today because since I'm not going to get groceries, I am just going to go by there and get what we need for supper. That's going to be interesting, so stay tuned for that. I thought about maybe starting some cooking today, but it's still a little early. I think I'm going to start all that tomorrow. I already have my pies and all that in the freezer. You know, we did those back in November, so those are taken care of. Everything else, I'm pretty sure we'll be fine to go ahead and start all that tomorrow because we have different things. We're making some things for Christmas Eve, some things for Christmas Day, and then we still have to eat in between there. So we're about to have some busy but fun days right now I think it's time to pick a winner for the $50 Walmart card giveaway okay we've got the link to the video now we are gonna filter comments based on specific text the question for the giveaway was who sang the original version of you're a mean one mr. Grinch in the 1966 version of how the Grinch stole Christmas the answer is Thurl Ravenscroft now we'll come over here it says start raffle and pick random winner here we go Jacqueline, you are the winner of the $50 gift card to Walmart. Congratulations. All you have to do is comment down below so that I can figure out how to get in contact with you to get your information and I'll get that sent over to you. Thank you to everybody who's been watching and entering the giveaways this Vlogmas. Stay tuned. We may have another one coming up before this year is over. All right, let's do this Walmart. Hope it's not too busy in here. Alarm. Alarm. Alama. <laughs> it's a lam. There's a dinosaur. Yeah. And look up there's a shark. Whoa. They have a lot of kids' clothes on clearance. Let's see, Manny. What's this one? Oh, it doesn't got animals. If it doesn't have animals, he's not interested in it. <laughs> Christmas activity book. Grumpy Monkey. The Very Hungry Caterpillar's Peekaboo Christmas. What do you need it? These are on clearance for $9. Sissy doesn't like these, though. I think it would be kind of cute. Hey, there's a rechargeable screwdriver. These Oreo milkshake glasses are really pretty. They have coffee mug ones, too. Or it's for meal, but, you know, you can put coffee in it. y'all we made it out of Walmart it was full of holiday shoppers hustling and bustling we're gonna go in here because we need the stuff for oyster stew that's what Titus is making for supper tonight me and Cece do not like oyster stew so we're probably gonna make some tomato soup and grilled cheese sandwiches or something every time we come to Ingles Dairy Queen back there it smells good and it makes you want to say forget oyster stew forget tomato soup go to Dairy Queen get a cheeseburger Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately, I've come to realize that I can see it in your eyes. So oh, it's true. I'm so glad, you feel it too. Nothing to
before we start cooking, I want to show y'all this stuff from Ingles. It's just mostly this is the stuff we need for supper tonight. But this stuff is a really good deal, and I want to tell y'all about it in case you have an Ingles near you. These Fisher Pecan halves were buy one, get one free. I showed them to y'all in the store. I'm pretty sure these at Walmart are like anywhere from eight to ten dollars a bag. At Ingles, they were $12 a bag, which is higher than Walmart, but on sale for the buy one, get one free, you get them for $5.99. So I went ahead and got four packs because we're gonna be making candy pecans. So we got those and the batteries. Don't forget the batteries. <laughs> At Walmart, a 16 pack of these Rayovac batteries was over $12. These four, four packs, which is also 16, was $5. That is less than half price than what Walmart charges for the 16 pack. So if you have an Ingles near you, go stock up on batteries. They are having this sale until the 24th. So all the way up until Christmas Eve, you can get these batteries for only $1.25 a pack. And at Ingles, you don't have to buy, like if they have buy one, get one free, you don't have to buy two to get the sale price. If I would have just bought one pack of these pecans, I would have only had to pay $5.99. They don't make you get two. Same thing with the batteries. If you just want one pack, it's only gonna be $1.25. You don't have to get the four for five. You can get one pack and it still be the sale price. And then the rest of this stuff is for supper except the bananas. I just got those for having bananas. I got tomato soup for those who don't want oyster stew. And for the tomato soup, I got these little garlic, like French bread pieces. Got the oyster crackers and some half and half. Um, is your person wearing glasses? No glasses, okay. Yeah, yeah. yes, he has green eyes. Yes, he does. Hang on, I'm still getting rid of all the people who don't wear earrings on here. You got earrings on, girl. Okay, is your person Laura? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. My person could pass as Santa Claus. <laughs> Well, you're excited today, Miss Turkey. <laughs> Only two today. <laughs> Even the ducks join in now. Alright, y'all. Oyster stew's going here. Tomato soup going back there. Titus is gonna come help with his oysterness. Oyster stew, everybody. Yeah. I tell you what now. Once again. What are you gonna do? Before you see his hands, he has washed them. Uh, but he has, they're all beat up from shoeing horses, number one. There are glue things on them. That, got a lot that, going on with these that hands. That don't come off. But and, I wouldn't take nothing for them. <laughs> and he's been painting a trailer today, or what do you call it? Uh, I've been redoing my cow trailer. What's the what's the stuff called though? Primer. Yeah, we've been primer, a bunch of primer. So too. they've been thoroughly washed. They just look rough. Everybody just they look rough. And here's Mr. Man. I hope nobody gets offended about that. I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely a lot of times I try to not show my hands. But. <laughs> You might need some gloves. We just need to put some gloves on you. <laughs> yeah. All right, for your oyster stew, first you're gonna need butter in here and you need to chop up an onion. Do we got a band-aid? I got these band-aids here the other day. I just don't want anybody to be worried out there. Now let's get this oyster stew started. For this tomato soup, I'm just gonna use this one can of, I'm, using, I'm making family size in case anybody else wants tomato soup instead of oyster stew. Mama, when this oyster stew gets no, ready, you mm -mm. Mind, girl. No, no. And I'm gonna put some diced tomatoes in it. That's all I'm doing mine. Stew. No, no, in the tomato soup. And I'm just gonna put about three tablespoons of butter in the bottom of his pot. Okay, now I'm dashing up some onion here. You can't get too much soup in yourself. Notice them relaxing sound as the mm -hmm. onion just flopped into the pot. Listen to these relaxing sounds. Just like a cow eating corn. Do y'all remember when people used to do that when people we were little? They would grab the top grab of your, your knee. knee and try to massage the Cow and corn. <laughs> okay, we this. onion in, everybody. Yes, now you can just let those come to a simmer and you know. Come to a little simmer. When they become translucent, we'll add everything else in. Going in with our oysters. There's one. Wait till your onions got translucent. You're fine. My onions didn't get translucent yet, but I went ahead and I put my oysters in. He gets in a hurry. I probably should have waited till those onions got translucent. <laughs> yeah, he speed cooks, y'all. And actually, I think that's all the oysters we're gonna put. Okay, I just got four in case you needed four. Yeah, I'm gonna go two. Okay, well look, you got two more to make you some more one day. You know this kind of smells like salmon patties, which I love. Let's put our spoons on this cow. Put our spoons on the cow, everybody. Tr cookie tray. 
Everybody, this oyster stew is coming to a simmer. Okay, now you need half and half. A quart of half and half. You need the whole carton, and then you're just gonna put your salt and pepper. And, and then you, it's done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all there is to making oyster stew, everybody. And I know a lot of you've been out there wondering a lot. And then when you put it in your bowl, you just put all them little crackers in it. That's it. I think it needs a little bit more butter. More butter? Yeah. Everybody, we're gonna put in a little bit well, more now, butter. Now, Paula only put two tablespoons. I just looked at her recipe. I'll have to go in here. Paula put two butter. sticks, baby. I know no. it. <laughs> Daddy's big. That's, that says daddy. <laughs> yeah. Here's a Christmas tree. Very good. <laughs> Where we go? Tim said, God bless us everyone. 